Yo, what's good, fellas? Your boy EJT. We back. We got a team rating video right here. NBA 2K20 got a couple subscribers. We're going to go over their squads real quick, rate them, see if we can make any adjustments to them, improve them with the amount of MT they have. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And big ups to y'all. This this video would not even be possible if not uh if not for you subscribers. I appreciate all the love lately. We on the grind to a thousand subs. Now we're gonna go over Ben the Swag and Spicy Bait. We're gonna go over two subscribers. Big up to to, to y'all. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I said, this this ain't even happening if you guys don't send me your teams or. You know give me give me the motivation to go ahead and keep on doing these videos so we're gonna go ahead and knock out this first right here first squad been the swag 20 man this dude squad right here off top see he got some he got some giants in the game right here i can already i'm gonna look at his squad already i'm gonna i'm gonna have to give him about a 9.9.5 .9 say nine point Oof, 9.3 that starting lineup is dangerous right there i mean you almost can't even get a better starting lineup the only person you could even think about replacing in the starting lineup is the richard lewis otherwise i mean you got 99 all cards pretty much in the starting lineup and richard lewis i know his jumper's nice and especially the cards over like four or five hundred thousand mt so you might as well use them to advantage that larry bird he's one of the to me, out of all the free grind 99 overall gold cards, he's by far the best. Kareem, the best player in the whole game. He got Kobe. Um, I would say probably the only shooting guard you can get besides Kobe is maybe that GOAT MJ Curry. That GOAT Curry is a problem. I mean, that's a 10 out of 10 card. Now, a little bit of, little bit of struggles I see as we head to the bench right here, because I know that James he grinded for James Harden, so this this guy's a grinder. You know what I mean? He gon' he gonna knock out them spotlight Sims. Uh, he got the Hakeem as well, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Demarcus Cousins, Damian Lillard, Jerry Lucas, and Chris Webber to round the bench out. Now the starting lineup, I can't even really say too much about. You know, um, I mean, yeah, he could have a better small forward. He could go get Kawhi or somebody like that, but. You know, I mean, I would almost even take his starting lineup. I mean, very few people even even have it. The first thing I would do is I would go up, go after that James Harden. That card is pretty old, especially at this point. Um, there's there's a lot of different point guards you can do. James Harden defense, not the greatest, and um, point guards and you know your big men are really really key this, this this year. The inside guys you can plug and play almost anybody into the shooting guard and small forward positions. Next, we got shooting guard Jalen Brown. You know he's a he's he's a budget beast, really good card. You know, nice nice release, but you know we we, we could do a little bit better at a uh, shooting guard, especially going from Kobe to Jalen Brown. Jimmy Butler, he's a really good small forward. You know you, you could argue him even over Lewis in the starting lineup just because of his defense. Hakeem at the four, that's that's a big problem on the um, yeah. You know that uh, that glitch, Hakeem at the power forward. Even I had him for 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 a little bit, and his animations are so slow. And this year, you can run a big guy at the power forward, put him in the post, but it's 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 really not not the best. You know, it's really not the best thing to do. Everybody's five and out. You know, trying to pick and pop, spread the floor, shoot threes. I like Demarcus Cousins as the backup center on the bench, especially after having. Kareem in your starting lineup. I mean, you really don't have, need to have too, too much firepower. You got Lillard on the bench, which I'm not really too big of a fan of. I'm not too big of a fan of Chris Webber either or Jerry Lucas. Um, no, I see. I, 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 I mess with that, that Jerry Lucas. Off top, I probably would put that Jerry Lucas instead of that Hakeem at the power forward. I mean, I know he's not the greatest power forward, but, you know, out of all the cards that you have right, right here, Something happened to my screen real quick. Out of all the cards you got right here, yeah, we, we got to move Hakeem. So we're going to go ahead. You have 300,000 MT. So let's see. Let's hop into the market real quick. See what two type of upgrades Ben the Swag can make to his squad. 
All right, now into the auction house. We gonna hop up in here real quick because I know I seen dude had that Harden with 300,000 MT. There's a lot we could do off top. I'm not really a big fan of this Blake Griffin glitch card. You know, you could go get this Ben Simmons right here, Evil. Look, 177,000. That Carter's golden. You could get this Lamar Odom, 192,000. I mean, that would probably only leave you with 100,000 left, but I would definitely, you could go after this Magic right here, 146,000 MT. I would definitely use the amount of MT to go after a Magic, a Ben Simmons, um, whoever else was, was up front, not that glitch card, Lamar Odom. Definitely those are cards you could use to upgrade your squad. I would even, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to you, even over that Harden, I would probably get this Oscar Robinson. I mean, Harden six foot five, so if you're already okay, you know, you could handle running with the six foot five, you know, uh, point guard. I would definitely get this Oscar Robinson over that James Harden. He can play better defense. We got here as well. Okay, MJ kind of cheap. All right, now we got we got Jalen Brown on the bench. I mean, with the shooting guards, you know, unless you can get, you know, MJ or somebody like that um, upgrade. There's really, you know, unless you're gonna get this Anthony Edwards right here, you could upgrade to Anthony Edwards. Uh, a little bit of a better car than Jalen Brown, but. You know, if you only have a certain amount of MT left, like 100, you know, maybe you got 100 left, spend some money on a Ben Simmons or Magic Johnson. Um, maybe this Eddie Jones over that Jalen Brown. I, I, I do like Eddie Jones better than Jalen Brown. Victor Oladipo, he's a really, really nice shooting guard as well. And, and to be honest, keeping Jalen Brown at this point and investing money into other parts of your team, it's probably, probably the best idea as there are other positions. Like you have Jimmy Butler. Speaking of, you could do, get Cam Reddish for your shooting guard. Uh, that's probably what I would do. I would get rid of Jalen Brown, upgrade to that Cam Reddish. Probably keep Jimmy Butler at the three. Um, I like him better than Iguodala. I like him. Yeah, that's, that's probably, unless, you know, the only other card you could probably get besides that Jimmy Butler would be this New York Knicks, Carmelo Anthony, you could do that. Otherwise, Jimmy Butler, solid card at the small forward position. That's about it. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the, I like the Jason Tatum card and Andrew Wiggins, but you know, they just, they, they, they just don't do it for me. I, I like that Jimmy, I like that Cam. Now we do have Hakeem at the power forward. Now, like I said, I would either run as Jerry Lucas. I don't like Chris Webber. You could pick up Pascal. Uh, he's he's definitely a nice option. Um, or I would just run that Jerry Lucas because there's not that many great power forwards. As you can see, we scrolling through. And if you ain't got that Pascal, Siakam, all these other cards are just, you know. But the good thing about it is they are on your bench. So, you know, they're not going to be taking up a bulk of the time. Um, let's go take a look at the center position. I don't know you do have DeMarcus Cousins as well. Um, I definitely would pick up this Eddie Curry over DeMarcus Cousins. I'll, I'll get rid of DeMarcus Cousins right now. Go ahead and snag this Eddie Curry. He's better. Dino, I don't really like him against, you know, other centers because they're, they're bigger. His defense lacks. I mean, this card, don't get me wrong. Dino, he's, he's, he's a goaded card, but his arms are so long, he can't even intercept the ball. Um, Mira San, you know, this card. Whew, I don't know if you like to hook shot people to death, but... If you do, that's 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 the card you want right there. So especially over that Demarcus Cousins, I would either get Marisan or this Eddie Curry. Um, you could try out this Evo Matumbo. His three pointers, uh, what 93, 95 mid range. Um, those are definitely the cards at the center position. Like I said, you don't have a great deal of money. You have 300,000 VC, so I'd use about 150, 200k. Upgrade your point guard. Get, get, get rid of Harden because that's going to make a huge difference for your squad. You know, so you'll probably have enough MT for Eddie Curry. You could swap out a Jimmy Butler or a Jalen Brown for a, a Cam Reddish or so. Um, but that's definitely the upgrades I would make for uh, been, the, been the Swags squad. But, man, I mean, definitely in the 9, 9.5. I mean, if he had a couple more go cards, it, it would be 10. But 
he definitely has a squad where you know if 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 you, if you went up against that squad, you 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 might hop out. There ain't no doubt about it. Now let's go ahead. Let's hop into the next subscribers team. All right, next up, next subscriber, Spicy Bait. We gonna go ahead check out his squad right here. As you can already see, he got twenty thousand MT left. So you know we down to the we down to the last drops of MT on this squad right here. I can already see that the mellow ball, pink diamond. You got Larry Legend, Cam Reddish right here. Now, now, now the first guy squad, you know, he had a, he had Kareem, a couple more go cards. I mean, he did have Curry, he did have Bird. Um, man, his, his dude has does have a nice team though. I, I'm not even gonna, gonna lie, especially for uh, he has he has a lot of free cards. You know, which is which is always a good thing because you want to see guys grinding. Not everybody can spend cheese on the game. Like it, it's not fun spending money on the game and not getting a damn thing. So you know, you gotta respect guys that just want to grind the game out and do it that way. Because either way, 2K they're gonna they're gonna give you cards that's worth it. But let's look at the starting lineup. Off top, I probably have to say like an eight, eight point five. Um, there's really, there's really not a lot, you know, because you don't have a lot of MT. Um, let's see, we have anyone that's worth a, a lot of money. Cam's probably worth about 60K. Um, so there's really not a, a lot of MT. Um, I would put Steph Curry in the starting lineup over the Mellow Ball. But the Lamelo Ball, he's bigger. Curry, I mean, this Curry, the Gold Curry, doesn't have a lot of problems with the tall point guard. So, you know, I would put him as a starting point guard. I like Cam Reddish at the shooting guard and I like Larry Bird at the small forward. If I had Larry Bird, I would probably run him at the small forward too. Karolinko, that's a dub. And Eddie Curry. So pretty good starting lineup. I mean, you know, you can there's really not me that guys you can plug and play instead of Karolinko or Eddie Curry. He's a top five card. Kar is a top five to ten power forward. You know, you got Curry, you got Larry Bird, so Definitely can't say too much about the starting lineup. You know, if uh, you only have 20,000 MT, you know, I, I probably would pick that MJ up over that over that Steve Smith. That that pink diamond Jordan, you know, Steve Smith, nice jump shot, but you know, with the uh, 20,000 MT, maybe, maybe that pink diamond MJ, you know, because you're you're probably gonna have to move the Lamelo to the bench you can keep them in the in the starting line it really doesn't matter if you have curry come off the bench that's a lot of firepower too you could keep steve smith thaddeus young or really what you could do I, I do like that thaddeus young he has that base 98 that quick Dwayne Wade jumper you know i would probably you know and and you got to bring all opals if you can so i would probably pick up that pink diamond jordan Put him on the put him on the bench. Maybe move that Steve Smith to the small forward position. Kevin McHale, you got him at the power forward. I would just keep him on the bench. Marcus All, I'll keep him on the bench as as well. Let's go ahead. Let's uh let's see if there's any any adjustments we, we can make. I know we don't have a lot of MT, but you know we could sell Karolinko, we could sell Cam Reddish, we could sell Eddie Curry. And make a couple adjustments let's go ahead and hop into the market real quick all right now we hopping into the market like i was saying we can go after that pink diamond michael jordan right here 98 overall i'm telling you this card right here is a monster look at the stats right here they load his post hook to the 62 his standing dunk to the 70. look they gave his pass his passing is terrible but I mean, he's a scoring scoring machine. He he can't block, but see, he can still he can play perimeter defense. He can't rebound, but he's fast, 95, 99 lateral quickness. So you could definitely insert this uh, Michael Jordan. I don't know whether you put him in the starting lineup. You could put him on the bench, move that Steve Smith to the small forward, or you know, because I know when you grind for cards, you want to use them. That's, that's the thing about grinding for cards and 2K. You feel like you got to use them for the rest of the year. What you could do in that case is you could uh, take Kevin McHale, move him to the uh, power forward position, and then uh, go ahead and sell this uh, Karolinko if you wanted to upgrade. 
you know, I like Eddie Curry at the center position. Maybe I'll go try to get some MT. Maybe pick up this magic right here. Pick up the uh, 76ers, Ben Simmons. If, if you don't like Curry, another guy sleeping right here that you could grab is his Jack Sigma. His jump shot is goaded right here. He's, I mean, he's drilling everything. He's only 55,000 MT. Um, otherwise, you know, you could you could sell Cam Reddish. You could sell Andre Karolinko. Try to get somebody different. But, I mean, you're really not going to find anybody better than Cam. Um, you could get a little bit of money for the Lamella Ball. Pretty much all you could do is sell Karolinko at this point. There's really not a whole much you can do to upgrade your squad. You're gonna have to get some more MT. You know, you could possibly try to hop and sit some snipe filters. Try to get your MT up, because uh, with Cam Reddish, he's he's not gonna move in your lineup. And Karolinko, that's the best option at power forward, besides Siakam, I'm sure, Karolinko's probably the same price right about now so really really good squad unless you grind it for a different card i can't really see uh too much we can do unless we get some more mt but good looking out good grinding to both subscribers both you guys have amazing teams definitely at this point can compete with almost any squad you know unless you run up against that go yao ming or go Giannis. otherwise though but I guess all of us are going to lose at that point. But either way, it's your boy EJT. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. We out. Back like I never left. Nike all let me. I deserve a check. Niggas mad. I got them upset. I ain't live for muscle, but I still flex. You ain't talking money, then I got no interest. Balling on these niggas, what I do best. Any nigga hating, man. Tell them niggas stay I'm on the way right now. I'm making plays right now.